Okay, so let's get started by creating our panels. So what I'm going to do is I will have this on my other screen, but um, it should be quite straightforward. So let's have a look. This is the height is still correct. So if we go to our mask, and uh, maybe something that's useful for us just to really be able to properly see everything is if we go to our texture set settings up here and in the size, if we just set this to 4K, now setting this to 4K, it will mean that everything is a little bit slower, but seeing that we have almost nothing in our scene yet, it should be fine. So setting this nicely to 4K, I'm going to zoom in on this piece over here. Let's bring some light in. And let's go ahead and double click on our hard brush. Double clicking on the brush will always just reset the brush. So now that that is done, I think we are just going to use a round brush. By the way, you can actually try a square brush. If you remove the alpha, you will actually get a square brush. But of course, in our case, because we need to go sideways, that would not be very useful. So let's do a round brush. And I'm still just using my mouse for this, just because most of this is quite straightforward. Um, I want to just try out, yeah, so this is a good thickness. So let's go for a thickness of 0.2. And then basically what we want to do is we want to, so I'm just on my other screen properly moving around my reference. Let's see, let's just draw one from here to here to here. Let's give it a nice little cut. Go here. Let's give it a cut down there. And let's just have it go all the way down like this. And there we go. Okay, so we have done that. Now I'm just going to place a cut. I will make sure that it's actually straight. The easiest way for me to say see if it's straight well it will sort of snap you will notice that it will slightly snap and um, so yeah there is a little bit of it seems there is a little bit but that's that's probably a resolution um, I, I don't think that you will really notice that especially not when zooming out so um, yeah it will sort of snap when straight and of course you can see uh, sometimes from a distance you can see like a little bit of the how you say it a little bit of like the jaggedness but uh, this should be fine. So if we do something like this, let's just place another cut from here to here, just to make it. Would that be interesting? Or shall we do it from? I'm just improvising. Or shall we do it from here to like say here, or maybe even closer? Now, okay, let's uh, leave that. So having this done, yeah, I'm just going to keep it straight, just because. Seeing this, it's pretty much the same. So we have this panel. Now let's go ahead and go for like the bottom panel down here, which yeah, it's a semicircle. So if we go and probably let's see if we go ahead and draw this out from let's start over here. Let's go inwards, and I'm just going to make this a square for now. And I actually want to see where we want to place this around. So let's just kind of like have this go around here. And maybe we just end it there because you, because you cannot actually see anything else from over here. So the next thing that I'm going to do for a circle. So if you just hold shift, we can... No, I don't think that will work very nicely. However, what we can do is we can very quickly add like a fill layer and just set this to be color and just make it like a red color and then set the mask to add a black mask. And now if you just scale this up, let's say something like scale up a bit more. Say so something like this. You might have guessed we are going to pretty much do the same as with as when we model. So if we set this to 0.2, we can simply trace around here and let's hold X. Let's just paint away this piece that we had over here. So yeah, it's not the best way, but um, just for like a quick, yeah, let's know that. 
I just need to be careful that I don't remove too much. But just for like a quick thing, that should be fine. So I'm just going to remove now my red, my uh, red color over here. So we've done that one. We've done that one. Um, smaller panels in here we will do later on. We are now just going to focus on the main lines. We need to also do this on the other side. Although, yeah, do we want symmetry or do we want something different? Now I think we do want to have some symmetry in there. Um, so yeah, let's just first go ahead and do the top just so that we have one side completely done. So knowing this, I would say for the top we want to Looking at this, we want to probably just have one come out here. Um, where's my brush? Oh, uh, press X. Of course, it's because uh, we set this back to 2.2. It's because we I pressed X to uh, remove some pieces. So just inverted the color. So let's have one over here, up here, and let's just have it nicely go all the way. If we can do this straight all the way to the top. Okay. And I'm going to have another one that goes from here. Oh, you do need to select on your model if you want to properly cut it out down here. And by this point, just go ahead and move this down here and now you can no longer see here if you want to make sure that you go all the way around technically i'm just going to move this a bit better technically it's not needed because if we cannot see it then of course we doubt i doubt that other people will be able to see it but if you would just want to make sure you can go to your 2d view and you can look up the location where you did this but this is why it's a bit tricky because of course these 2d views we made quite yeah, so over here, this, this, so it's over here. So you technically can just like place around here, but of course it's a bit tricky because uh, we rely on the 3D view because our UVs are too messy for a 2D view. But however, this should work fine. So let's say that we go for something like this. We can have thinner lines later on. But now let's just go ahead and go to the other side. Shift right mouse button to rotate our sky around. And we kind of want to do the same here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to press set so that we zoom in. Okay, so for this one, pretty much let's do the same design. So let's see, let's go from uh I forgot. Oh yeah, so we cut it off just before. <laughs> I really have the memory of a goldfish in case you didn't notice yet. So from here to here to down here i just need to have a thing because of course it's flipped now so it doesn't need to be precise to it not doesn't need to be absolutely precise but of course if we are going to rotate this around we do want to kind of like try and get it right roughly the same so if we do something like this Yeah, this cut is a little bit less, I would say. Uh, okay, let's undo up until here. So we have this point. I know it, we, it's too bad that we cannot just copy this over because the way that our UVs work. So seeing this point, let's go ahead, let's zoom in so that I can see. Let's um, make this a bit longer. Let's go from here to down here. Okay, that should do the trick. No, wait, this is too long. Let's go from down here, just right away, to down here. And down again. And then from here. Wow, that's not even straight. So yeah, these are the only ones that are a bit tricky. Once we have done these, it's going to be so much easier to just work with alphas. But these ones, they are too specific for this. So I'm just going to... And I'm just going to press uh, X to 
invert my color so that I can make this a bit sharper. So something like that should do the trick. Yeah, that should work. Um, let's go ahead and place another cut here. And we can always change it later on if we need to. That's the nice thing about Substance once again. So we've done that one. So here we have one around. So for these ones, maybe it's cool to just do something a little bit different also because it's a pain to do that one. So if we go ahead and let's, yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that and I'm going to later on just place like some panels here, but I will do that using alpha. So I'm going to for now leave that and for these ones, I'm going to go ahead and so roughly around here, let's go out it's too far let's uh, go up until here and I'm just painting out these little things so from out here let's zoom in a bit we go up and out like that okay and then we had another one that goes from oh these ones are really quite annoying another one goes from roughly around here oh and once again we were not properly on the line so try it again from around here to here and by this point it will go from here and it will go down and about and I already showed you how to go beyond this point but once again we do not really need that because you cannot look that far so that's those lines yeah that should work for now um, let's see how that will look when we start adding more details so on this on our actual door I wonder if we need to do anything because we will we might be able to just get some um things in maybe like here on the panels but i feel like that that would not yeah so i feel like these specific lights over here we do not need any more of them so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make my size even smaller point one and we kind of need to see how small that we can go and based upon that so let's say that we have this one and with point one I want to place a construction line from here to here. I just need to make sure that it's not so here you can see that the resolution is starting to struggle quite a bit. So we are lucky that we made this quite a bit bigger, but even having this this big, it still starts to create like a bit of messiness, but this should be just enough. So if we just, let's try and go from over here. Uh, no, I'm going to remove that. Sometimes it's better to just choose and not do it, uh, it because the resolution is not worth it. So for this one, I'm going to go from here. Construction line like this. That seems to work. From this point, one here. And hopefully we only just are able to see that, but we'll see how that goes. And from here, another construction line like that. And here again, you can see that the resolution, so resolution is good and it starts to struggle. So, but um, I count on the fact that we are looking at this from a distance. And once we have all the other textures and everything in here, it should work fine. So let's have another one go from up here to down here. Although I am interested why that specific point is so, let's go to a 2D view. Why is that specific point so hard to do because we should not hmm that's strange because it's, it's not like we um let's get rid of that one it's not like this is stretching this uh, as far as i know we perfectly unwrap this so we'll need to keep an eye out on that um so we've done that one i'm gonna go for another one down here and up here so we've done that and we will later on again place some interesting stuff down there 
So let's see, do we need any construction lines here? This one is pretty straight on because it's just a bulky object. Uh, straight on, pretty much st point on, point on, that's the same. Because it's quite a bulky object. So I think for now we should be fine with that. So now the next thing is, so I want to go with detail wise from bigger details to smaller ones. So next thing would be like little panels like this and we'll just browse out in our alphas to see what we can find. So if we go, are we still in? I just want to play around again with my intensity. So what you can also do, which is pretty cool. Um, if you say like, okay, I'm not too happy with the lines. I want to edit them a little bit. Is you can go to your mask and we can actually go down here to the magic wand and we can add, for example, levels. And using the levels, we can actually make things sharper or softer, uh, depending on what you want. And on top of that, another nice thing is we can also add a blur so if we click on here add a filter and select blur over here what we can do is you can technically blur it and after that just like in photoshop you can add the levels and then you can like pinch the levels now of course in our case that will remove the thinner lines but this way it might sometimes clear up some of the um it might sometimes make everything feel a little bit smoother which i quite like so actually yeah i actually do quite like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with it and see if we can this way kind of make it like a little bit softer and then the only thing that we would need to do is if we just turn this off is these thinner lines over here I don't think that we can really use those oh, press X I'm not sure if we can still use those after we've done this so kind of want to carefully remove them and let's see if we turn this on yeah I think I like that more so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very quickly get rid of these lines over here and these ones over here There we go. Yeah, I need to be super careful because I should have just done this in another layer, which I will do from now on. But of course, lesson learned a little bit too late. So we have done this. Okay. Made this nice and smooth. Okay, also done. And now if we just go ahead and duplicate our in layer and call this in underscore tin and just get rid of these layers and they're up here in the mask. Let's add a new black mask and in us and in our brush set this to 0.1 and now we can just go ahead and we can redo this and maybe make this one like a little bit less. Uh, intense. Let's do the same over here. So in and up. There we go. And then we also had the one up here. So let's have one. Go down here, just to make this a little bit straighter, like that, and another one up here, there we go, and also on this side, just have one up here, and another one up here, okay, and that's our time for this uh, chapter. So in the next chapter we will start by adding medium details. Okay, so for the smaller details, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, yeah, we can use the in underscore tin. So we are just going to browse to the alphas and see if we can find something interesting. So having our basic hard price selected, let's scroll down to alpha. And then in here, if you just go to alpha. So the first one I want to do is some kind of like hinges. 
Um, no, that won't look very good. Let's have a look around. Hmm. So we can probably use our rectangle, but yeah, okay. We, so I guess we can drag this one in and we can use this one. Now, a few things that we can do. So first of all, let's set the hardness all the way up. And okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to go to, well, first of all, let's scroll, let's um, tone down our size. And now if we go to the angle, we can actually set this on 90 degrees, which will just flip our alpha. And knowing that, let's scroll down to alpha. Let's set our squeeze a little bit lower. So if we just drag something like this in, there we go. Oh, over here, we just need to make sure that it's like on the center. So that just adds two little things over there. I'm happy with that. Let's go on the other side and let's just go ahead and place one here and another one. Uh, another one a little bit higher and then you can see that it's not that we have not placed a perfectly straight line but it's just on the edge of just being okay so I'm gonna go ahead and place another one probably around here oh wow so this one is so in this case so this one is not on uh, not straight this line so you can choose yes we can make this straight but is it really worth it for that one centimeter or shall we just go into the angle and just move our angle to like 80, 89 degrees or maybe like 87 and try that. So uh, let's do 88. And I think in this case that should be fine. So 88 degrees, one over here. This one we can go back to 90 because this one seems to be pretty straight okay so we have done some extra lines over there that is that is looking good so if you now scroll down let's see what else can we add to this um so we have like these little vents over here which always come with painter so we could maybe try and add like a little vent like over there uh, you can change the line width and ev everything pretty much so we just want to do we still have no it's 90 degrees so that's so this time sometimes it's also the uv that is kind of like messing things up so right over here the uv was correct but then over here we managed to get our uv s warped so much that it is rotated in which case we just want to work with our Angle. I know it's a bit messy, but here you can see your brush change along this UV. So normally Painter is really good at just avoiding that, but sometimes we just need to help it a little bit. So let's say that we have like a cool little trim over there. I'm fine with that. Let's see what else can we do here. Um, so we have these interesting like panels over here, which we might be able to use. So let's see if we can do something with the panels how does that look um set our angle back to like 90. so how what do these panels do if we set the size quite a bit bigger could it maybe be like for something like over here like in the center like one of those or maybe not um not sure i'm just honestly i'm just thinking I'm, there's no uh, rocket science to this, it's just having a little think about what we can do. So here we have like a square vent, which is also pretty cool, that you can also maybe use. In our case, I'm not going to do that one specifically. Uh, we actually, we do have trims also, so we have these trims over here, which we can maybe, so you could like place something here. So if we, for example, do, let's make this uh, the size a little bit smaller. So let's say that we have one in the center. And if we go down here and set our border width to be quite a bit thinner, we could potentially do something like this. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's say we have one here, and let's say we have another one, roughly around. 
uh, for this one day. When you zoom out, alpha also improves. So let's say we have these two over here. And then if we go and go to our brushes and just re reset our, our uh, harsh brush. So that's back to basic. Set the size a bit, a bit uh, smaller and then press X. And then we can just go ahead and like paint out the pieces we no longer want. Like that. So that way we can just get some quick round. I kind of wish that I knew about this one. We did like the corner piece on this side, but um, should still be fine. Okay, so we have something interesting there. Um, minimalist minimalism is also still good in these situations. Like you don't want to be that guy that makes a sci-fi environment with just too many random details that are, are unlogical. So these details over here are panels, so they make a bit of sense. These ones they could serve so these are already like on the border of not making too much sense but they could serve a purpose same over here so these panels can serve a purpose so what i want to do is i kind of want to just like leave the medium details on here for now and on these ones we are just gonna go i quite like that this is a plain looking thing like you wouldn't have panels on solid steel that would not be very logical you might be able to get something here so for example if we have this one we might be able in our brush go to our alpha and if we for example pick remember the square alpha that we had so um where are you that's a rectangle that this one over here we are able to for example scale this down rotate this 90 degrees scale down maybe some more next thing now let's make it a bit bigger and then just set the squeeze a bit lower so let's say something like this and then we can for example place oh, press x to turn our colors back we can for example place something like over here so i want to set my hardness quite a bit higher there you go so we can do like something interesting there and if we just do the same over here on this side but maybe like have it on this side just to change things up a bit Like that, so we can have like just some small interesting details there. But I think for the rest, I feel like that our main details should be enough. So I think what we want to do now is we want to get started with, let's start with holes. And after that we can also do another pass that is bolts, which is just, so one is in one is out. So if we duplicate this one and call this um, in underscore dots and set this to black mask again and then in here let's make this one a bit stronger so this one is going to be very easy it's just basic hard brush go into our mask and let's make this quite a bit smaller so let's set the size to let's see uh, let's set the size to 0.25 and now you just want, kind of want to, so over here you can see that there are like a few holes here and there. So we might want to just say, okay, let's have one over fast. Yeah, let's make it a bit more logical for us. Let's have one here and maybe one here. Also on this side, one here, one here. Let's say that we want to have a few that are like one is inside here um oh no wait actually let's make this these are going to be bolts because they are going to be for panels however we can still say like one here maybe one here how does that look uh, no i also don't like that let's have just one at like the bottom if we can even see it and one over here which again if we can even see i think we are going to go for like a bolt style for all the panels to just have like tin bolts so one over here one here and maybe have another one that's just like in the center here let's go up let's have another one up here another one up here and often you would be tempted to just do this but sometimes it's just looking more interesting to just have it kind of like to the side and i'm gonna have just another one randomly up there so these ones yeah they don't make too much sense 
but at least they just add some interest so where was he oh yeah one down here at the bottom there we go and now that we've done that let's go to our main door over here and I'm just gonna go ahead and place for example one up here one up here one up here and here so we can see that we have we have just enough resolution to nicely have a few of these random dots just sitting here they could be manufacturing errors they could be uh, just like tiny holes doesn't really matter it just breaks up the surface even if it is just like a little bit it just kind of breaks up the surface a bit so I'm gonna go on this side one here maybe another one here maybe like skip a big piece and have like another one over here and bit in center another one here and maybe have another one down here which just asks like that it's it's a bit random and that's what I quite like about it so seeing this I would say on these sides so we will get to the welding um, I would say that for now these should be fine because I don't think that will look yeah I think we want to go for bolts over there also so I think for now that should be fine so these are just like some small extra dots maybe can we maybe do something here so yeah not that you would ever see it but oh well so the next thing would be bolts and the bolts it's also again easy so if we just duplicate once again our layer and call these bolts and now for this one add a black mask go into our layer and this time we want to set this outwards so in the 0.2 range and now that that is done if we just go ahead and go into our mask there is an alpha so if we click on alpha and if we scroll down that is there is literally a bolt alpha or at least it will make it look like a bolt so we oh no wait these ones you guys don't have those are downloaded um, and I believe they are paid downloads so I'm not going to give those um, shape per bolt so over here this one and so this one is quite nice so for this one it might not on low resolution it might not always work so for example on here it's only just a bit too low but if you for example have it on high or a very big one you can see that it is just like this really big bolt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place say one here one here one over here and another one here and now I'm just going to first play around with our intensity so I want these bolts to be just quite quite soft something like this and now let's just get started so one here one here one in these corners maybe another two here and another two here over there have like one over here one down here although those we will probably not be able to see and maybe have like two bolts here and maybe have now let's only have two bolts over there so let's go over to the other side here we go let's have two over here it's one here one here here and do we need shall we make these the same well they will probably be the same anyway because the places where I place them it's where you would find bolts they are like a bit to the side and everything so one here here there we go and save our scene or yeah let's save our scene by now so we've done a few over there let's go to the top and for the top I'm gonna go for one here one here 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 maybe like two you won't be able to see them but just for peace of mind let's have another one down here another one down here i'm not sure if i yeah you know what i'm going to just quick i, I will do that later i am going to get rid of this one because i think this one only makes it worse that this line isn't perfectly straight or we yeah i i think it's best if i just try to make the line straight 
So there's something definitely a bit strange going on with the UVs. I want to have a look at that after this, just um, to make sure that we didn't, do not accidentally have a UV problem that's so bad that we cannot actually continue with the texturing, because then we would need to fix that ASAP before we can do anything else. So I'm just going to go place like a few random ones over here. So let's say, yeah, let's say over there that we have like a few bots. Now, very quickly to just see if this resolution is a problem. What I can do is I can just go to smart materials. And if I just throw on like a very specific material, maybe like some fabric. Okay, so the UVs are not a problem. So that's what I just want to test out to make sure that the UVs are correct. And if you want, there you go. So now you have a camouflage sci-fi tunnel. So um, that's all I want to do, just in just to have a quick look. So now I can go back to bolts. Now that uh, I have the peace of mind, I can go in here. So we have the really big bolts down there. But what we can do is we can, for example, place like a few thinner bolts down here. And we will later on also do the welding. So let's have another few down here. Yeah, when you look upwards on a model, it's sometimes a bit difficult to see what you're doing because even in Painter, yeah, the sky comes from up. So it's not like you can rotate the sky to fix it, but you'll kind of get used to it. So we've done that one. And there we go. Okay, so let's say that those are the bolts that we need. I'm fine with that. So let's just file and let's save our scene. So, oh yeah, we were going to do the whole. So this one is straight, so I'm happy with that. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and fix this. Fine, I'll fix it. So I'm going to go to brushes, basic heart, set to point three, I believe it was. And if we just go to in over here, I, f I first of all, I'm just, if you right click, by the way, you can quickly select some brush sizes. Um, so I'm just going to press X and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Set this back to point three. I okay, uh, I misclicked. So let's set this back to point three. And I just want to press X again. Point three was too much. Point two, I believe it is. Point two, and we just want to go ahead and I want to make this straight now. These I'm just going to turn these off because they are actually throwing me off the look. So if we go for this and then have a look, turn these on. Okay, so definitely this is now straight. So having that done, we can go to this one over here. Set the brush a bit bigger and let's just press X and just get rid of that one. And I believe that now if we just go very quickly, go to alphas, go down to our square, oh, scroll down here and drag that on the alpha. And we just want to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. There we go. So now it's straight and I'm just going to go ahead and make this a bit bigger and let's make this also the squeeze a bit thinner we can check so first of all the hardness needs to be set to one and i'm going to make this a bit smaller just to match the size that we had before there we go and now you can just press click oh x and press click so there we go Okay, next chapter we will continue um, and that should be last chapter for adding no map details.